Good morning, everybody. It's Dave at Holiday for Two. And we're spending a weekend at Saddle Mountain BLM Campground. So let me show you around Saddle Mountain. We've been here before. This is our second time. We came here last year about the same time. Beautiful weather, beautiful weekend. We're going to do some hiking, show our new uh, dog how to camp patch so we introduced you to patch probably last week so we got patches all set up over there it's a beautiful weekend so stay tuned let's show you around saddle mountain blm camping great spot to camp if you're looking for a spot that's kind of in between phoenix and quartzite if you like this video please be sure to hit the like buttons don't forget to subscribe and ring that little bell on the side so you'll be notified when i put out more videos in the future so let's go. Let's take a look around Saddle Mountain BLM camp spot. Here we go. Try hard to take some time away and have a peaceful day or two. So someday when my ship comes in, I know just what we'll do. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. Same way that we went, but had all the spaces, but that's okay. BJ right behind you? Mm hmm. Is BJ right behind you? Yep. The other spot's down just a little bit, but that's okay. This one had a lot of room too. We'll go up a little farther.
got our campsite all set up here. Got patches all set up. Hey, Patch. What do you think? It's Patch's first camp trip. Yeah. <laughs> got them all set up. I already found a little bone kennel there. So he can get in, get out, and sleep if he wants to sleep. Today's weather is really nice. Some uh, light winds. It's beautiful weather. It's going to be like 71, 72 today. And it's February, so the weather, this is a good, good time of year to come out here. February, March, April. It'll start warming up in April and May. Probably by May it'll start warming up to the point where you don't want to come out here. <clears throat> Unless we have a really nice weekend in May, which it can, we can have. And uh, way over there is I-10. It runs to the east, which is Phoenix, is over the hills there, over those little mountains. That's Phoenix that way. And then uh, there's the Harkahala, I guess is how you say it, Harkahala Mountain. And these little mountains here, there's a rest stop there on I-10. And then that runs all the way to Quartzsite, to the uh, west. And I don't know if you can see this. Let me show you you could see it on the camera here or not but way over there is a power plant and I looked it up that's Harkahala uh, generating station the little three little exhaust towers there it's one of the substations that they use out here uh, just uh, east, east of where we are here is the uh, Palo Verde uh, nuclear station but this is uh, one of the substations that they can fire up when they need additional power and they can fire up the station here and, and uh, when they need when they get a high demand on the system they can fire up some of these uh, substations and give a little backup power especially in the summertime I would imagine or in the winter when all the heat everybody's kicking on all their heaters but it's just really nice out here beautiful and quiet there's Saddle Mountain right there on the other side of BJ's rig. So a little bit later we're going to go take the Jeep up there and do some hiking. There's a couple of different hiking trails that you can take up into Saddle Mountain. Let's see if I can get over here. This road right here that we came in on goes up and every so often you'll find lots of little camp spots like where you see that pickup truck and the camper over there and then there's a fifth wheel the highway out there is only about maybe a quarter mile south of here so it's like there's a little highway that comes in there and there's a car right there on the highway so you can kind of see how far away that is a little highway right here by Saddle Mountain and uh, you look for the towers over there and then turn in and come in, come west on the highway here, the little road. And then you'll find Saddle Mountain. But there's lots of hiking up there if you want to go hike up there. If you have an ATV, there's actually some ATV trails that go around Saddle Mountain. They do like a big loop. They go around and come back in on the uh, west side of there. So if you have an ATV or some quads, you want to come out and have a little fun. Nice. That's really, I'm really surprised how green it is. And for those of you back east, you're probably thinking, what? It doesn't look very green. <laughs> but uh, we've got lots of grass and stuff, desert grass. And uh, we've had a lot of rain this winter time, this, this season. And so you have a lot of desert grass. And that's good. We need that out here. So, looking forward to a great day. Relaxing. Hey, Patch. Good morning, Patch. Hey, Patch. Good morning. What do you think of your first day camping, huh? Are you having fun? <laughs> we are exploring. Found something over here. I gotta show you. Patch and I was, were walking over here last night 
and stumbled on this. And, uh, I don't know what happened. This wasn't here last year. Looks like somebody had a trailer fire. Oh my goodness. This is scary. I don't know what happened here, but a good reason to bring a fire extinguisher with you in your camper, huh? Yikes. I don't remember this being out here though a year ago. Kind of wish somebody would come out here and get this out of here though. This is not good. Lots of. I don't know. <sighs> what a mess. Makes you wonder whether this was done intentionally or a complete accident. Yep. Beautiful day. It's uh, a lot nicer today than it was yesterday. Oh my goodness. Yesterday we had high winds and I think a high of about 55 degrees and the wind was blowing like crazy. This morning, no. No wind at all. Saddle Mountain right there. There's Saddle Mountain. It doesn't really look like it from this angle, but if you look at it from the west or the east, it actually does kind of look like a saddle when you see it from the other end. And way over there, that's west, looking west, there's another road that goes up over there. Lots of camping spots over there where you can uh, boondock. Way over there to the south of us, that you can't see. No, you can't really see it. That's the freeway way over there. I-10 between um, Quartzsite and Phoenix. If you want to get to Saddle Mountain, you're going to turn off at the Tonopah exit. That's the best exit to take. There we are. That's our, that's Lucky and Chance over there. That's our little campsite. And BJ and uh, Billy's camper over there. So this is officially Patch's first full day camping. I think he's really having a good time. He likes looking in the holes. Sniffing out critters, huh? You smell something? <laughs> Come on. Oh, there's a hole. Yeah, watch out for the holes, because you never know what could come out of those. Not around here, anyway. Yeah. We didn't hear any coyotes last night. I was kind of expecting to hear some coyotes. Sometimes at night you'll hear coyotes after they go around hunting. They catch something, you'll hear them in their packs, yipping and yowing. Ah, beautiful day. It's going to be nice. It's very quiet and peaceful out here. It's nice. What you hear? Oh, I hear doggies. That's Bogart and Bacall. Yeah, that's Bogie and Bacall. They're barking. Yep, they see you. You got their attention. Let's go around. Come on. All right. I'm trying to train this guy. To, there we go. Sometimes he wants to walk right in front of my feet and he gets stepped on. So I'm trying to work with him to go to one side or the other, but not walk right in front of me. <laughs> ah. It's that puppy stage, you know? He's a quick learner, though. What'd you hear? Oh, somebody's shooting. That's what we hear. Gunshots. Somebody's doing some target shooting. 
kind of early to be doing some target shooting, huh? That's one of those things you sometimes have to deal with out here on BLM land. If you're target shooting, if you're doing some target shooting out on BLM, BLM land, one of the things they want you to do is to make sure you're far away from where people are camping. Right? And you want to shoot into like a berm or a side of a mountain or somewhere. And make sure you pick up your brass when you're done. Some people do that. Some people are pretty good about picking good safe spots to shoot and picking up all their trash and their brass. Some people are not very good about it. They'll leave all their ammo on the other casings on the ground for somebody else to take care of, I guess. Let's go get everything ready for breakfast. And I want to show you how to find a Saddle Mountain BLM camp spot. Now, this is for folks who are not familiar with the area. So if you're familiar with how to get there, then you can kind of skip this. But for those of you that aren't familiar with the Phoenix area and Arizona area here, uh, here's how you find Saddle Mountain BLM camp spot. If you're camping between Phoenix and Quartzsite, it, there's a couple of different ways to get there. First, you want to look for Tonopah. So let me zoom in here on Tonopah. If you're coming from the valley and Phoenix area, you're gonna come west on the 10 and you're gonna get off at Tonopah. Now, if you're coming from Quartzsite, there's a different way to go and I'll show you that, but I would recommend still turning at Tonopah because I'm not familiar with the road between uh, Saddle Mountain, which is down here, and then Tonopah, or I mean Saddle Mountain and then the turn off here. I, this might be a dirt road or it might not be, but you're gonna be, if you come this way, it's possible you're gonna look for, uh, come down and look for what's called Courthouse Road right in front of Saddle Mountain area. But you're gonna get off at Tonopah, go south on this road right here. What is this called? Let me zoom in on it. This is called 411th Avenue. Go all the way to the end of 411th Avenue and you'll see a mountain directly ahead of you right there this little mountain right there and then you're going to turn and go west on Salome or Salome I guess I either ways I've heard it pronounced different ways but you're going to take Salome Road or Salome Road and then there's going to be some power towers running through here some uh, high towers uh, high tran uh, power transmission towers and you're going to see those right along where you turn off here on Courthouse Road and then you're going to turn and go west on Courthouse Road let me change to satellite mode for you there you go. When you get on Courthouse Road, and in the video you'll see that's where we turned off. And then you're going to go for about two or three miles. And, and there's a couple of different places you can turn in. Now our first trip that we came out here, we turned in on this first entrance right here. And that was the video from last year, from 2022, when we came out. This year we came out and went a little farther and turned right about in here. But I tell you, there's a couple other ways you can go to. There's another, if you go a little bit farther from where we turned, there's another turn off to the, uh, all of these go to the south. And then lots of camping spaces in here between uh, Courthouse Road and the mountain. You'll see this. If you want to get Google directions, just click on here 
when you find Saddle Mountain BLM Dispersed Camp, just click on that and then hit directions and your Google map will help you find it. That's another good way to do that. That's actually a very good way. But like I said, there are so many different ways to get back in here. Uh, when we turned off here, we came up and found lots of that. Um, we were camping like in here. Actually, I think this is the area where we were camped. That burned out trailer was probably on this, uh, right near this wash here. So I actually didn't turn in on this. But you can turn in on all the, any of these spots here you can turn in on. There's actually one, two, three, but oh, this one's kind of rough and rugged. I wouldn't turn off there unless I had a four-wheel drive vehicle. This one's okay, that one's okay, and the last one. The last one here, though, is the best because it's got the most open room. Th these two are the best if you have a big rig. Once you get past those two, then it keeps going, and eventually you're going to see uh, run into uh, the power station there. You'll see the power station. If you get too far and you see the power station getting closer, then you've gone too far. All right, so just kind of keep that in mind. Um, the petroglyphs are up here. That'll be the next video. I'll show you the petroglyphs and stuff. But there's also ATV trails that go all around the mountain here. Let me zoom out a little bit. So if you're camping right there where the little uh, green tent is, there are actually ATV trails or bike trails, hiking trails that you can take around the whole mountain. It's about 12, 14 miles on the loop that goes all the way around the mountain here. And the funny is you can't see there. You can barely see that little line right there. Let me just zoom in. There's the trail that goes around the mountain right there. And I'll zoom out. There, so there is a trail that takes you all the, way, all the way around Saddle Mountain. And it comes back around up here, comes up north. Eventually come back in around that first camp spot that I talked about. Right up in here. Oh, comes up into Salome Road. But you can also take it up into Courthouse Road in this area. So it comes around then loops back into where you're camping. So it's about, all together, I believe it's about... 14 miles on the whole a uh, loop but I've, I've never done the whole loop i have talked to people that have uh, i've seen people that have done it and i know of people that do it and i believe the distance around the whole mountain was like 14 14 miles something like that but don't try to do it in a hurry because it's a rugged road so this would probably be if you're taking that loop around on an atv or quad i would give myself about two or three hour trip Make sure you pack water, too. Any time of year, if you're traveling or hiking, ATVing around Saddle Mountain area, make sure you pack water with you, even if you're just hiking up into the mountain to see the petroglyphs. Because the air is dry, and you can dehydrate pretty quickly in the dry air of the southwest here. So you want to make sure you always got water with you always even in the winter time when you think oh it's nice and cool but yet you still need to stay hydrated summertime as i said in the video if you come out here in may june july august it is going to be very 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 hot uh the same temperature whatever phoenix is it'll be out here so if it's 110 degrees or 115 degrees in phoenix then you can bet it's going to be 110 115 degrees out here not a place to camp in the summertime uh, unless you're really really brave and you have some way to get air conditioning um, maybe if you have enough solar power you can run in air but but why if you're going to come camping in the summer go to the mountains that's what i always say get up where it's cooler uh, this is a great winter fall spring camping but summertime yeah just just avoid it in the summertime unless you're just coming out for a, a quick day trip or something you want to do some hiking and rock collecting and there are definitely lots of places around here to collect rocks. So, like I said, turn off at Tonopah. There's a gas station right here at Tonopah Exit. A uh, good place to get gas at the mobile station or the Pilot Travel Center. Uh, there's a little, uh, they have a little uh, ice. They have basic shopping needs, um, supplies, sundry items, soda pop, uh, beer, wine, things like that. Not a lot of groceries. They might have milk and maybe butter, ketchup, maybe hot dogs, those kind of things, but not a whole lot. So if you're looking to get groceries, I would try to plan on maybe going back into town 
or there may be a little market over here I did see a little market on the other side of Saddle Mountain I've never been there but it does show up on the map here uh, now I can't even find it oh there it is Rio Valley Market so it's probably about I'm guessing about 12 to 15 miles from where you'd be camping but um, I haven't been there, so I cannot verify that that's a good place to go to shop. But it's worth kind of maybe taking a drive out there and checking it out. You get out here and there's farmlands. A couple of quick things before I go. Be aware that when the wind shifts, if you're camping at Saddle Mountain, certain times of the day the wind might shift. And if the wind's coming from the north uh, to the east, you, you may get a farmland smell. You know, the manure, cow patty, that kind of stuff. Uh, we had that happen while we were out there. We, one day the wind would be blowing from the north down to the uh, north, down to the west, from the northwest to the... And we had it's beautiful day, and then all of a sudden the wind shifted and came from the, uh, from the north up this way and came to the southwest, southeast. And, oh boy, did we smell the cow farms, the cattle farms out here. So there are cattle farms out here chicken farms and things so when the wind shifts a certain sometimes you'll get that smell just be aware of that uh, also flies i cannot for the life of me figure out what it is that causes the flies out here but certain times when the wind shifts you can get a lot of flies and i think it's be probably because of all those cattle farms over there and it's a it's a 50 50 thing you're gonna you may have a, a couple of days where the wind just stays the same blowing the same direction from up in the northeast and to the southwest and then you won't have any problems at all and then when the wind shifts watch out so it's not bad but just be aware of that um, cell phone signal is very strong uh, we did get a few channels on our antenna not a whole lot uh, because the mountains over to the east of us from Phoenix they block some of the antenna signals uh, unless you have like satellite and things like that then that's different but as you're going on antenna stations, you might get a few. I think I got about eight or nine, maybe ten channels. Most of the things that show the classic movies and stuff like that, which is fine. But we brought our own movies to watch. So, hey, enjoy it. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe, and ring that bell. And be sure to stick around, and I'll show you more of Saddle Mountain next week and the petroglyphs. Have a great day. Safe travels. Take care. Bye.